Hello everybody, it's Trivial Turtle here and welcome to Arms Day. So it's Arms Day again today, Gunsmith has got my weapons ready to go. So let's go cover what we had last week. Let's have a look. So last week I picked up the Saurus PDX-41. Out of these, I would certainly say the first one is the best. It has a beastly stability perk right here, Hanley Stock. It's an amazing perk. Um, the little bit of decreased range is easily sorted out by Hammerforged. So, Hammerforged plus Hanley Stock make an insane pulse rifle. So, easily pick that one up out of those three. Next up, we've got the Soros JLB-47. All of these are terrible, so just pick whichever one. It really, really doesn't matter. If it was up to me, I would pick none of these and wait until next week for a fresh selection. So let's have a look at the next one. So next up, we've got the Strongbow Data. Again, all of these are reasonably bad. None of them really increase range by much. So if you want to certainly get one, I'll go with the first one because it has crowd control. Um, but other than that, these are all pretty bad, and again, I would say wait until next week. Okay, so we're on to our main foundry orders now, starting with the Zaranea D from Hockey. So this gun is actually not a bad auto rifle. It's actually a really low impact one, which does kind of weigh against it, but low impact auto rifles have certainly seen their day today. But low impact high rate of fire auto rifles are actually better now than they ever have been before. Still not the best, and still can be easily beaten by other guns, but it's still pretty fun to use these kind of guns, and if you are good with this archetype, you can pretty much mow anybody down with the Zarenir D. It's a really, really good gun. The only thing I'd suggest looking for in this gun, though, is stability, maybe a little bit more magazine size, but other than that, this is a pretty decent gun for the archetype. Next up, we've got the Ludmilla D. This is a pulse rifle from Hake, and again, it is a pretty good one, if not one of the best ones. However, pulse rifles, especially these, this archetype of pulse rifles with a higher impact, low rate of fire, these ones actually got hit really, really hard with a pulse rifle nerf. They're still usable, however, they are way harder to use in general. It's up to you if you really want to be using this, but if you want any specific perks for it, I would certainly suggest going with stability overall. Next up, we've got the Jingakugo D. This is a shotgun, I think, that it's been on before, but I can't quite remember. But either way, it's a really bad shotgun. Um, it would be okay if there wasn't just better offers on, even just in the tower. But this gun is really, really bad. It's got really low range, and its magazine size is 3. It's not good at all, if you ask me. But it's still usable. So if you do want to use a shotgun, if you haven't got a shotgun yet so far in the Taken King, then pick it up. And I'm sure you won't look back until you get something better, obviously. Obviously, the perks you want for this are just normal shotgun perks, range increases, maybe crowd control. And other than that, really, shotguns are what they are. So let's move on. Next up, we've got the Aeofura D. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. I think I actually got it spot on last time it was actually on offer. But this time, I, I just can't pronounce that at all. So this is a sniper rifle from Hake. Again, this is full Hake guns. Um, and it's not bad. 22 impact is not bad. Its rate of fire is okay, but its range is super high. High range sniper rifles are a little bit obsolete because you don't usually get those really long range maps. Really, really rarely, in fact, you'll get those really long range maps. But it's still an okay sniper rifle. So if you haven't got a decent sniper rifle yet, then certainly pick this up and have a go with it. But again, in the tower, there are better sniper rifles than this already. So really you don't really need this gun and um, but if you do want some specific perks i'd certainly suggest a stability increase overall and um, but other than that it's a pretty solid gun last but not least we've got the uzume rr4 from omelon this is another sniper rifle which is also all right it's better than the rua d um, but it's still not the best sniper rifle in the game by a long shot and um, there is, <laughs> did you get that long shot? Anyway, so there's better snipers in the tower than this again. So I would really give this a miss as well. But it is completely up to you. And it will probably hit my top three just because this week's guns are really bad in comparison to other weeks. So that is the five guns. Let's have a look at which ones I rate to top three. Starting at number one, I would certainly go with the Ludmilla D. Easily the top pick right here. Um, only because it's just the best of a bunch. I wouldn't usually pick this to other Armstay guns which are available in rotation, but today, Ludmilla D, I think, is on top. 
Next up, I'm going to go with a Zeranir D, just because, again, it's a really good gun for its archetype. It's a pretty solid gun for its archetype as well, so I would suggest picking this one up, as well as the Ludmilla D. Finally, I don't really know. Now, out of the three guns left, I would personally pick the Uzume RR4, but it's completely up to you. They're pretty bad as a bunch. If it wasn't the Uzume, I'd probably go with a Jinkakugo, but other than that, yeah, I think the Uzume RR4 is number three here, but it is up to you. Again, all of these picks are actually up to you, but these are just my recommendations. So that is all of the guns. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like below, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, Guardians.